So, and uh, we drank a lot of tea, obviously. Very little coffee. Coffee was one of the things we didn't have. Oh, oh, that was a real delicacy. What else did you cook on charcoal? Well, we had um, a regular German, European food. We didn't have, I don't remember ever really having Chinese food. I mean, we might have bought Chinese vegetables and things like that, but it was always cooked in a European way. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I don't remember going to Chinese restaurants or anything like that. If were we, there Chinese restaurants? There were Chinese restaurants, but not in our district probably, oh, they were there too, because, you know, I mean, even though it was a working class, but we, if we went out or anything like that, we went to our own restaurants. There were some restaurants. Mm -hmm. We had restaurants. And yeah. Where did the meat come from? I presume when you say German. Food, yeah, well, the meat, meat was also sort of hard to come by, but... Uh, I guess from there, I mean, uh, you know, you d everything was available if you had money. What kind of meat? Well, certainly pork, <laughs> but I, you know, depending how how religious you were. But uh, I think they had uh, they had beef also, mm -hmm. but it was expensive. Mm -hmm. You know. What other kind of foods did you eat? Well, we ate uh, rice. We ate a lot of rice, mm -hmm. obviously, and um, uh, vegetables and uh, meat, whatever. We had sandwiches, bread we were able to get. I don't know. Uh, probably was baked in our area, in our district, maybe even by our own people. Mm -hmm. Bread and... Um, and then, uh, well, one thing we used to eat staples was sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, which was very good because they were sold on the street mm -hmm. by the Chinese in these ovens. Mm -hmm. And it was good because they c you could warm your hands in the winter mm -hmm. by holding them, and then you ate them, and they were very nourishing, and they were sweet. And mm -hmm. But we ate them so much that I haven't been able to eat them since, mm -hmm. since then, uh, until very recently. Yeah. Uh, uh, any baking? Anybody baking? Yes, cakes? we had our own bakeries, mm -hmm. we had Viennese pastry, we had everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that we were able to eat that every day because you had to buy it, but uh, we had our own, we had pastries mm -hmm. and, uh, and all that stuff. I think they even made chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, Was food ever shared with any of the other groups, the Chinese or even the Japanese or other no. people that were there? No, we never shared. We n I don't remember ever e eating together with them at all. Did you, do, uh, what, did you observe any of their ceremonies or their way of life at all? Well, Involved? only from the outside. Yeah. I mean, uh, we had, uh, they had this, uh, a lot of Chinese holidays. I mean, mm -hmm. they had the, the main one was Chinese New Year, where, mm -hmm. where they had uh, uh, parades and, uh, and they had... Uh, you know, uh, firecrackers, which is a Chinese invention, mm -hmm. and uh, they had, um, uh, what do you call that, the, uh, uh, not firecrackers, uh, um, you know, when, when, like we have here for the 4th of July. Uh, uh, firecrackers? Yeah, well, uh, um, fireworks. Fireworks, fireworks, and I'm forgetting my English already. Fireworks, that's also a Chinese invention. They mm -hmm. were very big in that, and mm -hmm. so they had that, and they had a lot of festivals, and then I remember the Chinese funerals, mm -hmm. where they also had like a, actually like a march or parade, where they, where they, uh, women, they had these uh, Chinese women who were professional choirs who they hired. Mm -hmm. the, the, the funeral was as, elaborate as they had money. In other mm -hmm. words, rich people had incredible elaborate funerals and they were they dress in white, the Chinese, for the funerals. Mm -hmm. And um, they transport, they, they had uh, artificial food and artificial money and artificial clothes and artificial uh, furniture all made out of paper and paper mache which they then burned so that the, mm -hmm. they would have that in their afterlife. Mm -hmm. and we certainly saw those things all the time, these funerals and, the, and weddings also, mm -hmm. the Chinese weddings where they were all dressed up in these beautiful uh, Chinese uh, They dress in white garments. for weddings too? Uh, no, no, they were these very gold-braided uh, uh, costumes and they have these uh, 
not rickshaws. They had these. They, the bride is carried in one of those. Uh, uh, I don't know what a you call rickshaw? that. Not rickshaw. It was carried by four people. One mm -hmm. of those uh, little, uh, little. Uh, I don't know what they were called. You uh, remember. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know the bride. Uh, well, they had a, that was a very beautiful ceremony, also. How did you get to? observe these things? On the street. Mm -hmm. On the street. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all these things were on the street. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, they probably we saw the Chinese weddings even in our lanes mm -hmm. where we lived and, and mm -hmm. even maybe in the houses from the outside. You know. mm -hmm. Now the Chinese people in our area were very poor, much mm -hmm. poorer than we were. I mean, a lot of them were starving and mm -hmm. uh, were terrible. I mean, uh, well, the Chinese, when they didn't have any money, they and they had babies, they left them on the street in mats to die, and then the next morning they were taken away. They were much mm -hmm. worse off than we were. 